So this has come up a couple times in the past couple months and I feel like I should just probably address it. This is my video on the subject of suffering. I think that it's pretty common, especially for those of us living in the West, and especially, especially for those of us living in America, to think that suffering is something to be avoided completely and completely gotten rid of in our lives. We walk around in really thick padded shoes, we sit in comfy chairs all the time, we drive nice cars, we have air conditioning, etc, 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 all the physical comforts, and then, all, and then in addition there's a bunch of emotional buffers that keep us away from emotional suffering that I think uh, is probably pretty bad for us. I think the net result of surrounding ourselves with non-suffering buffer zones is that when suffering actually does happen, because it's inevitable that we will eventually ca be caused emotional and physical pain, we don't know how to deal with it. We drop into these huge pits of like irreversible depression and these downward spirals when, you know, family members die and all of these other terrible things which happen in the world and they're gonna happen no matter what happen to us because we've buffered ourselves against all the suffering in the world. So to answer Lymanel, who posted in my moderator module a couple of times about hedonism and suffering, no, I don't think that you should avoid suffering. In fact, I think you should embrace suffering and think about it quite often. By thinking about suffering when you are not suffering, when you are in a good state, you are better prepared to deal with things when they happen. It's like practicing for a marathon. When you actually run the marathon, you're not dying. But if I tried to run a marathon right now, my legs would fall off and my head would scream. I think that suffering is vitally important to our well-being, mostly because it allows us to understand what other people are going through when they suffer and therefore be empathetic towards them. If you've never had anyone in your family die and you try and comfort someone who has had someone in their family die, sometimes they'll respond, you don't know what it's like. Kind of like that time in Harry Potter 7.1 that Ron is yelling at Harry because Harry doesn't have a family and he doesn't understand what it's like. It's kind of like that. And if you do know what it's like, you can say, yes, I do know what it's like. But I think the important thing to remember about suffering is that it's not a permanent state of being. Suffering is one of those things that happens to us on a temporary basis and is really, really shitty while it's going on. But if we've built ourselves into a happy human being in general, we're able to kind of pull ourselves out of that suffering fairly easily. Again, that's not to say that you should not feel the feelings that you're feeling, that you should not suffer. I think that suffering is vitally important. I think that it's really, really, really important. Can I say that enough times? It's really important to suffer sometimes. You must suffer. You have to feel those feelings because that's part of what makes us human and separates us from the world. You should embrace your suffering while it's going on, but not revel in and live in it if that makes any sense. I'll talk about my methods of dealing with deep depression because I know that that happens still sometimes, even with myself. Uh, I'll talk about that to next week. Uh, until then, go check out some other videos, other videos, and I will see you guys on Friday with my Project for Awesome video. See you then.